Hey everybody, it is Brandon Foster here to motivate you, encourage you, inspire you so you can live your most joyful, abundant, and blessed life ever. And today I'm going live and I'm talking about how do you handle rejection in life? I'm talking about when the people say no, all right? I'm talking about when you ask the guy or the girl who are around and they say, no, not interested. I'm talking about in your business, when you offer your service to somebody and they say, no, not right now. Or maybe if you're like in insurance sales and you do that cold call and they hang up on you. I'm talking about uh, when you actually offer to help somebody who you think could really use some help and some advice and they tell you, no, I don't need your help. I'm talking about when you don't get the job that you thought you were qualified for, you really wanted or you really desired, and they tell you no. I'm talking about when you ask for other people for advice or are volunteering and they ask you for help and they tell you no. How do you handle the no? How do you handle rejection in your life to remain abundant, joyful, excited, and so that you can keep giving others? Because let's be realistic. Sometimes when people tell you no, it hurts, right? It hurts. It feels shitty. It's not always the best feeling. But I'm going to explain to you why that feeling is not the best. And I'm also going to explain to you what the history is for you behind that feeling and how you can move past it and what you need to do when people tell you no or when people reject you. And I think the first thing that you will have to understand is that the reason why the no can sting is because they're, they are rejecting you. But the thing is, is you label it as them rejecting you specifically as in you're not good enough. Okay. And so that's a really important distinction to make is because when people tell you no, we often take it personally, right? We take it as we're not good enough for the job or they don't value or appreciate our service, or they don't care about us because they don't want to help us, or uh, they're rejecting something that we have to offer for them, and we know we would be amazing and help them so much up with our service, but they tell us no. And all these feelings, okay, the reason why they hurt is because it feels at the moment, when we give it power, it feels like we're not being loved. That's why rejection, when people tell us no, can be one of the shittiest feelings that we feel is because it's like, you're not lovable. <laughs> you can't have the job because you're not good enough or you're not qualified enough, or you can't serve me because I don't value and appreciate your service. And I don't think what you have to offer is very good. I'm not going to volunteer my time to help you because I don't believe in your business or I don't believe in you. I, I don't, I don't uh, want you to date you because you're not good looking enough or your personality isn't good enough or you're not funny enough or you don't have enough money. See, we assign the meaning as to why they are rejecting us. We assign that meaning. The people who are saying no, they're not giving us that meaning. We're assigning the meaning, right? So here are the keys that you want to do when it talks about uh, rejection. First of all, like I said earlier, it's not personal. It's not personal. Not everything is about us. <laughs> not everything is about you. The world doesn't revolve around us. I know this is like a weird conception because I always talk about how you are loved, you are adored by God, by the universe, and that every desire you have is meant to be fulfilled. And I firmly believe that with my whole entire being. But the second that you say everything is about you, you forget that we are on this planet to serve other people. And it's about us as a collective loving one another. That's what it is about. That's what service is in the first place is providing value to other people. The reason why you're meant to succeed when you have a desire to serve is because that is your gift to the world. And so when you realize your gift is a gift to the world to give to other people, if somebody says no, that's just not who your gift is supposed to be for. And it might not have anything to do with you. They might not be ready to receive your amazing gift. 
And don't you want people who are going to appreciate and adore and and help you with your gift than people are who are not going to appreciate it? So it's not personal when people tell you no. The second thing is is don't assign meaning to the no. Like I just told you, if someone says no, I don't want to date you. Don't assign the meaning that you're not good looking enough. Don't assign the meaning that you don't have enough money. Don't assign the meaning that your personality isn't good enough. If you get rejected from a job, don't assign the meaning that you're not qualified enough or you're not talented enough or that you couldn't have kicked ass at the job. Don't assign meaning when people say that they don't want to help you, that it means that your business or your goal uh, is not worth helping. Don't assign meaning to those things because that will not serve you and it's flat out not true. That just means that there are other people who are ready, willing, and excited to help you and you just haven't allowed them to come into your life yet. You haven't found them yet. The third thing is uh, don't respond <laughs> and don't react. Actually, I should say uh, don't react and respond. I should say don't react and respond. I'm actually going to take that now. So when I say react, react is like your gut instinct when somebody tells you no, right? So someone said, no, I don't want to date you. And you go, like, well, I don't want to date you anyway. You ugly. <laughs> All right. Or when someone rejects you from a job and uh, you go, well, good, because I'm never going to help you and never going to work for you. That is reacting, right? Uh, you have a service you give other people and they react it and they say, no, I'm not interested. And you go, fine. If you ever change your mind, I am never going to help you. Okay. That is reacting out of anger, out of spite. And when you give that off, that is going to come right back to you. So do not react to the no or the rejection. Respond with grace and love. I appreciate you telling me that you're not interested. I appreciate the opportunity to apply for the job. I appreciate uh, you filling me in and giving me a response. You know, it's much easier, right? When people are honest with you and tell you no versus when they just leave you dangling and you have no idea what the answer is going to be. That's worse. That's frustrating. And in fact, we talked about this uh, in training in Hollywood that in LA, uh, in the industry, there's a lot of people who are afraid to hurt feelings. So they don't ever say no to you. They just kind of ghost you or don't respond. And that's like worse. And one thing that we love about uh, the film industry in New York is they're not afraid to say no. <laughs> no, nope, we're not interested. No, nope, we appreciate it, right? That is so much better for us because it allows us to move on. The fourth thing is choose an advance, right? Choose an advance. When you start asking people, uh, when you apply for a job, when you go in for an interview, when you ask somebody out, when you are, are offering your service to somebody, don't get attached to an outcome uh, and don't assign, uh, don't assign meaning to it. And the way you do that is you choose in advance. You decide in advance that I'm going to ask this person or, or attempt to provide this service to this person, or I'm going to ask for help, or I am going to, um, whatever it is, you're extending yourself out there. You're going to be feel that feeling of vulnerability is really what it is. And when you do that, you're going to be uncomfortable because none of us want to be rejected. We naturally don't want to hear no. But if you decide in advance that a no is good, a no means you're not going to waste your time. A no means it's not the right person and the right person is out there. The no means that, that you're one step closer to the yes. When you can begin to really choose ahead of time and detach from outcome, that is when you really start to allow so many amazing, graceful, abundant things into your life. And I just highly encourage you all to think in terms of that because it will give you so much more peace and allow so much more joy into your life. Because if you think about your emotions like a closet and your body is like a closet, and your emotions are all the clothes in the closet, right? And every single time you have a negative emotion experience, and, I, and I, the word negative just means an emotion that doesn't feel good. I don't want you to think that emotions are bad. Emotions are so incredibly helpful for you. But if you think about your body as a closet and you have all these clothes in the closet, which are your emotions, 
when you start to build up um, uh, anger and rage and spite and the feeling of rejection and not worthy and not loved and not valuable, and they start to stack up in your body and you don't uh, release them or get rid of them, they take up space. And the space that it takes up prevents you from filling your closet with the clothes, clothes of love and worthiness and joy and abundance and all those other amazing things that you're meant to experience in this life. So the fastest way when people reject you is to feel that emotion, whatever it brings up inside of you. Don't try to hide it. Just feel it, feel into it, and then slowly move into the emotion of you're loved, you're worthy, you're okay, you're safe. Nothing's changed about your desires that you get to achieve your goals. Nothing has changed in that regard. So happy I can give you guys this awesome uh, video for today. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, check out my free masterclass, Seven Reasons You're Stuck. Link is down there below. If you're watching on YouTube and you haven't joined our private Facebook group, You Were Born to Slay, make sure you check that out. And of course, I have Tuning Into Love, an amazing eight-week relationship course that is coming very soon. And as a preemptive to that, I have a seven-day relationship challenge I encourage you all to sign up for. It will completely begin to transform the relationships that you have, whether it's healing past hurts and old relationships, whether it is uh, building new relationships, or even if it is just taking the relationships you're already in and making them that much better. It is, it is a game changer. And I will say one last thing about rejection is that um, if you have been really hurt in your past, by someone you really, really love, um, you need to release and forgive that because the sooner you release and forgive that, the easier it will be for you to overcome the no's later on in life because what really is happening is that when you have that no, if you haven't dealt with those emotions, it's actually stirring up not just the present emotions, but the emotions of the past that you have never forgiven and you never release, and that is not fun. All right, remember that you are more beautiful than you realize. You are more successful than you give yourself credit for. And you are more loved than you could ever possibly imagine. And you were born to slay. Have an amazing day.